Hello beautiful people, welcome back. As you may know if you watched my last video, I ditched my Prius for a few days and went uh, camping on an island with Jeremy for three days, as I said. And it was beautiful, and I'm gonna show you guys a few clips of what it looked like and a bit of our experience there. We've been going there every summer for the last three years. And yeah, it's like one of our favorite places ever. Today, I wanted to go through our top camping essentials the things that we absolutely cannot live without when we're going away on these kinds of trips and so yeah let's get into it oh before we start don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you would like to see more videos about adventuring uh, not only camping kind of videos but like i said van life videos in my prius c camper um yeah without further ado let's start with the essentials we have a special guest joining us today to give us a little a little info on the things you might absolutely need to go camping. Hey, <laughs> so if you follow me along this way, as you can see, this bad boy can hold up to two whole adult people. Actually, it's a four person tent. Four person tent, but realistically, we all need our space. So I think two person tent, it does the job. It's perfect for a tall person like me, six foot two. Oh, perfecto. So last time that we went on a big camping trip with a bunch of our friends, uh, we each had our own tents and our tent that we had, I don't know what was going on with it, but there was a huge rainfall and there was a bunch of water that got inside of our tent. So something to consider when you're buying a tent is to make sure to get one that's very good in waterproofing. This one here, Coleman, Coleman tent right here. During the huge rainfalls, this Coleman tent was the only one that didn't get any any water inside whatsoever. It really sustained the heavy rainfalls. So I definitely would recommend this kind of tent to use in your next camping trip. Just a quick note that all of the things that we are showing you guys, they're gonna be in the description with links. And if you do purchase through those links, a small commission goes to me at no extra fee to you. So if you do want a leak, a leak free tent, this is this is this is the choice for you and use that link please if you guys follow us this way we have the pièce de résistance i think that's what it's called the hammock this bad boy can hold up to 350 something pounds yes even possibly more i bought this hammock in guatemala i cannot give you a link to this exact one but i will try and find one that is very similar to put uh, in the links. I love it, it's like super relaxing. Well, you could read a nice little book here. It holds both me and Jeremy, as I said. And we tied it, if you, if you wanna come like a little bit closer. We tied it here with some rope. That was actually from the dollar store. I would kind of recommend getting maybe like a rope that's a little bit more durable because it did break on us once. But we now found a better technique to tie it where we don't attach it to this part of the rope, we kind of attach it to this. So that's just a little pro tip. If ever you guys want a video on how I set up the hammock with rope, I can also do that. Up next is these polar sweaters. We got them in Alberta. Basically, the story behind them is when we were there, we thought it was going to be pretty warm. Turns out it was snowing a little bit. It was freezing cold. So we were like, okay, we need sweaters. Went to this little shop, found these sweaters, which are ethically made mm -hmm. and uh, super super soft and cozy and, and warm they look super good and we're matching and we're matching this was her idea though she wanted to and I also just want to point out that I don't know if I'll be able to find these um, linked it was a really small kind of shop like a local shop in Canmore Alberta but of course Patagonia makes them I'm sure the North Face makes them as well so I'll try to link similar ones that are like the same style and the same cozy kind of warm material but yeah definitely an essential for us because if not, we would literally freeze to death in Canada. Slept in it and it's like a blanket. Oh yeah, should we see the degrees? In Alberta, it was like negative five, maybe negative, yeah, probably about negative five in the car when we were sleeping. I will leave the playlist for our band uh, trip up here. And here, I think it was overnight like nine degrees. Uh, and he slept in it still, so yeah, it's pretty good for all temperatures. These Birkenstocks, these are my go-to shoes. I use them for literally every trip I've ever been on, whether it's Colombia, Costa Rica, Guatemala, 
Canada, the States, I use them for every single trip. I love them as adventure shoes because, I don't know, they're just super durable. And I can wear them with socks and I feel like that's a nice little style. So I wanted to continue with like the whole fashion vibe of the sweaters and the shoes. But yeah, definitely essentials. I think everyone should have Birkenstocks. They're awesome. Bam. This stove right here, camper stove to be precise, is a pretty good quality, nice looking, compact, easy to carry, light stove. Which is also? It's also a Coleman. Nice. We tend to really get close to Coleman's. The only thing that we forgot to get for our trip was some butane. It just made us realize how useful it is to have a stove like this, especially when cooking on a little fire takes a lot more time to heat things up and it's also very unreliable with the ashes flying all over the place going into our food going into our fire this definitely a much more controlled environment and a lot faster to cook whatever you need to cook this is the Watkins great outdoors mosquito repellent and I swear by it all jokes aside I was recommended this by a traveling clinic and I do swear by it I think it's a really great mosquito repellent I use it on all my trips and I think it's like 30% DEET, which I don't know what that means. All I know is that it's much more efficient at making the bugs fly away. If you don't want to use an insect repellent that's mostly like it's chemical, I don't even know what's in here. I would also suggest essential oils. Recently I used coconut oil with some lemon essential oil and it worked really, really well. So I will also leave the details for those things in the links for you in case you want to be au naturel. Uh, I do love fresh water. Something that is a must when you're out camping in the wild is to bring at least a 20 liter jug of water with a little, a little, little nozzle? No nozzle like this that could spill out the water. If you were to ask me, you cannot go on a trip without a book. I read a lot, Jeremy reads a lot, and we're going to leave a few of our favorite books linked below so that you can get your read on. Oh man, there's no electricity anywhere. How am I going to charge my phone? Oh, thank God for this wireless charger. Something that is always a must when you're camping is to definitely bring a wireless charger at all time. Obviously we forgot the wire to charge our phone, <laughs> but make sure you remember so that if ever there's even an emergency whatsoever, at least you have a way of charging your phone, keeping it alive so that you can make whatever phone calls you got to make if there is such a case for it. Mm, welcome to my temple. Our last few camping trips, we kind of experimented with different ways of sleeping, different things to sleep on to be more precise. And so we slept with just sleeping bags. We used a little like air pad. We also used a blow up mattress. And then recently we upgraded our gear. And now instead of a blow up mattress, we have actual real mattresses that fit on the boat. So you're gonna ask me, how? How did you do this? We have toddler mattresses. Yes, our feet hang off just a little bit, but it's worth the little compromise because it's way more comfortable than the air mattress. So I'll show you them. So these IKEA mattresses are like five, six inches, five inches maybe, that thick. And they're extremely, extremely comfortable. We are very happy with it. I don't think we'll be upgrading for a long time because I don't think you can get much better than this for a camping experience. So I will leave foam mattresses linked as per usual. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments if you want this guy to be in more videos in the future. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys, see you possibly here, possibly on the road. Mwah. Bye.